Hello, my name is Sofia Crespo. I'm a generative artist and I work primarily with AI tools around the topic of nature and artificial life forms. I'm also the co-founder of a small artistic studio called Entangled Others, where I work together with Felican McCormick, an artist from Norway. And together we collaborate on various projects that aim to create narratives or storylines about nature and um, also reframing new technologies. I am very fascinated by the idea of evolution and organic life using artificial mechanisms to evolve. And through my work, I try to explore how we humans create algorithms to replicate or to create something that to us seems like a replica of a biological process. My practice focuses on imagining artificial life forms and every project that we worked on somehow touches on that, aims to do that. Hybrid Ecosystems is a series about the boundary of nature and technology and where that boundary actually lays and a future where that boundary could be very blurry. So one uh, struggles to tell where a technological artifact ends and where a nature begins. Another series that is very dear to my heart is Neural Zoo, which is um, a series of speculative life forms that aim to recreate textures that look natural, but are actually species that don't exist. In my work, I use a wide range of different neural networks and very often that depends on the concept of the project. So it usually begins with an idea that I want to produce. And the neural networks can take a lot of different shapes. They can be text or text to image models or audio, GANs, 3D GANs, 3D style transfer, etc. This means that to me, machine learning isn't an end in itself. It's a tool that I have available right now, but to me, it feels part of a larger project that in the future could take a completely different shape. I like a lot the idea that technology becomes naturalized over time and that given enough time and enough use, we take the technology for granted and it stops feeling like a completely separate object to us. But this also implies that for this to happen, our own relationship with nature changes as well. So nature becomes part of the same thing that we are. And I think that's a very important shift to do as humans, to stop uh, seeing ourselves as a very separate entity from the rest of nature. I don't like making predictions of what's going to happen in the future because I prefer approaching the present as it comes and finding ways to adapt to it. But I do really enjoy the place of dreaming speculative futures and trying to think 
what are potential ways that we can collaborate and come together as humans to, to change our way of uh, connecting with, with the world. So I can only hope that we will use technologies in ways that help us do that.